Hey, how's it going, guys? Today, I'm going to take you from A to Z on finding a video topic all the way to writing the script. And there's going to be two ways to go about it. The first way is going to be the lazy way, and the second way is going to be the right way. So the lazy way would basically just be going on YouTube, typing up a video topic that you want to recreate. Let's use five reasons you should get a dog. I'll use this one by Miss Mojo. So the cool thing about here is that you can go ahead and see the transcripts, but the lazy way would be basically just copying all of this right here and then pasting it onto Quillbot just to make it a little bit easier. I'll let it paraphrase it. And all right, I put creative. Let me put simple instead. So just give it a few seconds. And then there, the script is done already. That's the lazy way. And the reason I say this is the lazy way is because I did nothing to change the original script. I didn't go ahead and read it. I didn't go ahead and make sure punctuation is right. I didn't change little things here and there before it's paraphrased. And that's why you're seeing there's 730 words on this side. And there's only 494 words that were actually paraphrased just because punctuation is incorrect. So that would be the lazy way to do it. Now, the right way would take a little bit more work, but it's definitely going to produce a lot more quality. And instead of me pasting this entire script over here, I would go ahead and paste it into a Google Doc. There, Google Doc, there's a script right there. But I wouldn't just use this script because I'm only getting videos from one idea. I would also go to Google, search articles on reasons why to get a dog or whatever your topic is. So uh, why should I get a dog? All right, let's just choose, let's say one, two, maybe three articles. Here are 10 reasons why you need a dog in your life. I'll open that up. Unexpected benefits of having a dog, benefits of owning a dog, and then let's just read through here. What are some interesting things? So I like this one. Number four, dogs help increase social interaction. So I'm going to go ahead and take that little chunk, paste it into here. So I want to use that. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and exactly copy that, but I'm just using that for inspiration. So let's see. What else do I like? Yeah, I'll accept the cookies. Oops. All right. Here was the original. If your dog makes you awesome, owning a dog can make you more attractive to potential love matches. Now... All right, so number four and number six are kind of similar, so I want to go ahead and put them together. So I'll put them right here. So when I go ahead and rewrite this, these two will be together. What else do I like from here? They are a reflection of your personality <laughs> because they give the best kisses. Um, actually, yeah, I want to use this one. It's like a funny one, so I'll go ahead and use that. Now let's go to article two. Let's see what it happens. Life is better with dogs. Having a dog can help you stay active. Oh, I like this one, stay active. There. Now, what else do I like? And also, I saw... Oh, here it is. Having a dog is a great way to meet people. So that goes with the social interactions one. So I want to go ahead and see what this person in this article said. And put it right over here. Social interactions. And we'll go ahead and chunk that there. Now, I think I have three reasons right now. So I want to go ahead and choose two more. Dogs make you healthier. Dogs can make you happier. Dogs can keep you safe. All right. I want to go ahead and do on this safe part. All right, safe. All right, and now we have all the information we need. So just to make this a little bit more appealing, I'm going to go ahead and just make sure the text is all the same font size. All right, that's good. All right, good. And I don't need this right over here. And again, I'm still, and again, I'm not using all of this over here this is simply for inspiration so normally in the script there's going to be an introduction uh, however many words you want just make sure it's not too excessive and make it interesting for the person i'm going to go ahead and have a body so in this case my body would include the x amount of reasons to get a dog uh, i put 10 i don't have 10 reasons i'm going to put just to make this video a little bit shorter i'm going to do three reasons why to get a dog so body would be three reasons to get a dog and then my outro. And again, I'm oversimplifying this, but this is just to go ahead and give you an example of how I would go ahead and write a, a script there from using all these ideas together. So for the intro, uh, where I'm going to take inspiration from is going to be the first piece that I got from YouTube. So if you don't already have a pooch, oh, okay, it starts all right there. <clears throat> all right, so this is going to be their introduction in Miss Mojo. I want to bring it down over here. Let me bold this. All right. All right, so I went ahead and did the introduction. I kept it nice and short, only did a few sentences. They say owning a dog is the best thing you can do in life, not only because you'll have a friend for life, but because there are so many more benefits. 
Trust me, when you get a dog, it'll be the best day of your life. And so in today's video, we will be going over the top three reasons why you should get a dog. I'm about to convince myself why I should get a dog. I have a cat, but I should get a dog too after this. All right, so introduction is done. Now I'm going to go ahead and start with the body. And the first reason I want to use is this one right here. So with social interactions, great way to meet people. So let me copy this and I'll paste this over here. All right, there, I went ahead and finished the rest of the paragraph. So what I have is having a dog is a great way to meet new people, especially other dog owners. Before, you had no reason to go outside and go for a walk. But things change once you have a best friend by your side. You will be going out more, visiting new parks, and going to places you have never been to before. <coughs> Excuse me. And because of all this, the byproduct is you will eventually meet new people, and you'll also have dogs. Oh, wait. <laughs> and the byproduct is you will eventually meet more people who also have dogs. Think about it. Would you rather walk up to a stranger or walk up to a stranger with a dog? I'd choose the latter. Having a dog just makes meeting new people so much easier. Plus, I know if someone comes up to me and is immediately drawn to my dog, they're probably a good-hearted person. Alright, I finished with that. So, number two, you feel safer. With so much danger in the world, you always have to be on the lookout, especially if you live in a not-so-good area. And so living alone can be scary at times. And so, having a dog would be the perfect solution so you don't feel so scared. And according to studies, dogs decrease the risk of burglaries. When people hear a barking dog, they are immediately deterred from entering, especially if they are scared of dogs. And considering dogs have much better senses of hearing and smelling, they'll know when something is off. You might not think there's something wrong, but when your buddy starts barking, that can be his way of letting you know there's danger near. Or his way of protecting you. And I know, not all, all dogs are like this. Some dogs don't bark as loud. But either way, having company around just makes you feel safer. Alright, so I finished the third reason. Number three, they bring your spirit up. Have you ever been around somebody who's always a downer? It doesn't feel so good, and it might just be a bad vibes feeling. But the thing is, the people around us affect us more than we think. If you are constantly surrounded by negative people, then in turn, we turn negative. So imagine if you had someone always around you, always happy to see you, always smiling, always going for kisses. You would probably be a much happier person. Not only that, but you'll also be seen as more attractive that way. And having a dog is like having a personal cheerleader always around you. They're always there to cheer you up when you're down. And in return, all they want is your love and affection too. Dogs are simple creatures. And if so, the other reasons on this list don't matter to you, that's okay because this last reason should be the reason you should get a dog. All right, and there, the outro. That's all for today. And if you liked our reasons, don't forget to subscribe for more content on dogs. Thanks for watching today's video and have a dogful day. The last thing to do would actually be read it over and edit any grammatical mistakes. I started doing it, but I'm like, this is too much. I'll just do it at the end. I think the easiest thing to do would actually go ahead and be download Grammarly. It's a free thing. You don't have to pay for it. If you do want the premium subscription, it does give you a lot more stuff. I'll also leave affiliate link below for that. Um, I did end up paying for it just so it's a lot easier to write these scripts. But you literally just have to go here once you download the extension and just click it. And then it'll go ahead and automatically fix it for you. And since I have the premium version, it'll go ahead and restructure some sentences for me. Uh, and I'll show you that a little bit later if it happens. So let me just fix all these. So the exact reason why I got premium was for this right here. It actually goes ahead and rewrites my sentences so they make sense. So there you go. Because I'm not the best writer, so I kind of need the tool. And it does take a few seconds for it to load, but afterwards, boom, accept it. All right, so as far as these next grammatically errors go, I'm just going to go ahead and kind of ignore him and leave it there. I think that's good enough. And again, when you write your script, make sure it's a little bit longer. Uh, this script probably isn't a lot of words. So yeah, 531 words, which is probably going to be like maybe a two minute video. Uh, realistically, I always like to get eight to 10 minute videos out. So I would go ahead and do a lot more um, if I were writing the script myself. That's how to write a script. And click over here if you want to see how I actually edit the video while using Pictory. And don't forget to subscribe for more content. And until next time, Remember, click here.